Now in this part of the question then, we've got to find the value of f dash of 9. So what that means is that from the previous part of the question, we had that f dash x was this equation here, which I simplified. Now, you might have ended up with this version, so all you've got to do is just substitute your x in for a 9. So you've got 9 over 2, then 9 to the minus 3 over 2, and here you've got plus 8 times 9 to the minus a half. But I showed you that this was equivalent through these stages to this equation down here. So what I could do is just rewrite that then as 8 over 9 to the power half minus 9 over 2 times 9 to the power 3 over 2. So we just need to work these values out. So 9 to the power half, when you've got anything to the power half, remember it means the square root. So we've got square root 9, which is 3, and that's going to give then 8 thirds. When we get this one, we've got minus 9 over 2 multiplied by 9 to the power 3 over 2. So if we look at the 2 first of all, that means to square root 9, which is 3, and then we've got to cube the 3. 3 cubed is 27. Now, in this last term, I can simplify this because 9 goes into 9 once and 9 goes into 27 three times. So what we've got is 8 thirds then minus, sorry, I said 9, I meant 1, so 1 over 2 threes, which is 6. And if we turn everything into sixths, we would need to double top and bottom here, so that would be 16 sixths, and then we've got minus 1 sixth, which is 15 sixths, and that will reduce down because we can divide top and bottom here by 3. 3 into 6 goes twice, 3 into five, 15 go 5 times, and so that gives us 5 over 2, or 2 and a half. It's up to you. What Ever you want to put. Okay, so that's how we get the value f dash of 9. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this problem.